Have you ever gotten like a text or like something on social media and you read it first and you're like, that didn't really say that, did it? And then you reread it and you're like, yeah, it was me. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. And I took kind of like a weird break for like a week and I want to kind of chat about it. So let's catch up. What did I miss? How is everybody? How is the real world out there? Like through the television screen, through the computer. Couple things to catch you up on. So I kind of had a bummy week last week and I know that some of you could catch on. What's... Sorry, for the record, I have this friend that I've known for years that he, I think I told, I've mentioned him before. He's a detective and he lives in London. Um, he took this road trip. He got, he flew in from London to New York and he's taking a road trip like across the United States. So right now he's in Louisiana and he just did a bunch of ghost tours in Louisiana. I'm like, I hate you. I should have met you down there. But he'll be in Vegas in a few days. I'll put the social media down for a minute. So one thing to catch you guys up on is that I've had somebody that I had to report to, to YouTube and he's like, I'll block this person and they'll remake a new one and they'll like start repeating the same rant and I've had to do it several times. So anyway, I finally had to report them to YouTube and um, there's a couple of different ones. First, people are saying that I'm not giving people the freedom of speech to talk on my channel because I'm purposely blocking people. Well, first of all, wait a second. I'm not blocking everybody. Like, if you go through comments, there's people that will, like, agree to disagree with me. Some of you guys, like, I've had, like, in-depth conversations and we chat about stuff. And sometimes we don't always agree and that's okay. The people that I do block, however, are, like, vulgar, violent, mean. Like, I hate you. I want you to die. I hope you die. Blondes are stupid, women are stupid, you know, like, why would I keep someone that says stuff like that on my channel? Why? And like, take in mind, when you're doing a YouTube channel, I'm paying for all of this. Like, the, the equipment, the people that help me, you know, in my production company, I pay them. You know, my investigating, my, you know, doing research, finding when we did Zach's museum. I pay people and I pay to keep this equipment up and running, so... Why would I want to pay to do this little production for you guys and then have violent comments sent to me? Why wouldn't I block someone like that? So I'm assuming this person is somebody that probably has said some violent, nasty things to me and I blocked him once or twice or a few times. And now he's mad. I don't care. Whatever. Um, for the... For the... For the record, I don't block everybody. I don't just block everything that's bad if it's constructive criticism or if someone has a legitimate point and like wants to talk things out or just doesn't like me in general that's cool but if you call me a nasty name or ask me you know that you hope that I die and stuff of course I'm gonna block them but you know I've noticed on this channel that like I have two extremes and that's about it one people love me and they're like Let's be friends. And I'm like, yes, let's be friends. Let's hang out on social media and Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and whatever and let's be friends. And then I have other people that are like, I have hate your guts. I hope you die. I want you to die. I don't have in between. Like, I don't, whatever. So anyway, sorry to those of you that dislike me. But I have some advice. If you don't like me, unsubscribe. It's pretty easy. But, um, you know, it does emotionally tear you down at some point, especially when you get weird, really bad comments like, I want to kill you, 
I'm gonna find where you are and other vulgar things. So honestly, I just felt like I needed to like bubble myself last week and like protect myself and just you know recharge my batteries of like my empath and like my energy and just and try to stay to myself and it, and it worked really well another reason i kind of had a bummy week last week so there's been a few videos over the course of like the last six months that i've mentioned to you guys oh i have some really exciting news and i can't announce it yet well i'll give you the news so i was signed to a production company and I actually got signed in December, and I'm not mentioning any names or anything like that. But I was super excited because they were going to kind of orientate this show around my character. I think that producers see me on the internet, they're like, oh my gosh, she's cool. She's skeptical, but she believes in it because she's experienced it. And I'm super knowledgeable on like the production side, like using night vision and using equipment and ghost hunting and stuff. So in December, this company um, came forward. They had a really good background and they offered me a show. And so I signed the contract and um, there's actually a number of reasons why I chose to um, terminate the contract. The contract is terminated as of last week. Um, but one of the reasons was they were kind of just moving too slow and that's a really big red flag usually with a production company if they're moving slow. It means most of the time production companies, they do want to do things fast, especially like paranormal. Um, I think that there's a lot of production companies that are worried that it's going to be like a fly-by-night thing where it's going to be in for a while and then all of a sudden it's going to be out, which I don't really see that happening at the moment. But um, normally they're going to be like, okay, let's hurry, let's get these produced and let's get these out. And then as soon as the production company goes to the network. So a production company would be who produces the actual show. A network is like sci-fi or travel channel or A&E or Fox, whatever. So the production company goes to the network and says, I have this awesome paranormal show. I have a pilot that's filmed and I want you to watch the pilot. And if you like it, let's make a deal. And then the network pays really big money to the production company to air it. And then the network gets sponsors, which are like television uh, commercials that you see. So Charmin, Baby Diapers, other television programs that are on different networks, they'll pay to have that 30 second slot. So that's where all these like thousands of dollars come in from. Most of the time they'll try to make the commercials sometimes related to the actual show. So anyway, I, I just had this really bad feeling that it was going too slow and um, I was concerned. And then in the meantime, I had like five or six other producers over the past few months that had reached out to me. And they were like, we, we love your YouTube channel. We want to give you a show. And then I was in contract with the other company and I couldn't move forward. And it really sucked. And I was like stuck between a rock and a hard place. There were other reasons also, you know, personal reasons why I ended this contract. So anyway, long story short, I, I was kind of sad to be honest because I was really looking forward to moving forward with this show and then some personal things came up and then, you know, not moving forward as fast as I anticipated it would. Um, it's just usually a red flag with a production company. So I ended my contract with them. So to say the least, I was kind of in a funk. I was in kind of a funk last week because this contract ended, which I had really been kind of hoping it was going to go somewhere. And then I have like some really, I have just like a negative week with subscribers. It was really weird. I don't under, and what I don't get is that people that put you down subscribe to your channel. If you hate me that bad and want to kill me, then go to another channel. I don't know. So anyway, it was just a weird week and now I'm back and I'm feeling better. And I was going to come on here and I was going to tell you guys, I was going to be like, all right, well, Sorry, I was gone last week and I was like, you know what? Some of these people that, you know, you guys out there that are my subscribers, like I talk to you on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter and like I've made like friendships with some of you guys. I'm like, I just have to be honest, you know, like I'm not the kind that can put on like a front and like be fake. Like you guys know that from my videos. So I was like, I'm just going to be honest with them. So I have, you know, there were some really cool people out there, a bunch of my you know, follow, like, 
a bunch of you that follow me on Facebook were like, are you okay? Checking in. I was making some like weird posts on Twitter and um, some of you caught on, I know. So many messages from you guys about the guys behind me, which are ghost brothers. And I mean, a bunch of you were like, oh, I kind of like them, I kind of don't. I want to get your opinion first. And I have I have an opinion on it. Of course I do. So ghost brothers, um, they're definitely not for people that take paranormal like super serial. Like if you are hardcore about paranormal, which I can be at times, this isn't a good show for you because they're, you know, they're kind of still starting off. They're not super seasoned. You can tell that. You can tell some of their stuff is like voiceovers. You can tell that not all of it is a natural like talking to the camera and, and you know, doing like host work. But it's because they're new at it and you know, you have to be fair to them. Now, if you're just kind of a paranormal enthusiast and you're looking for just a new show, this is definitely it. Ghost Brothers is hilarious. Like I can't even tell you guys how many times I've laughed throughout Ghost Brothers. There's a couple, there was an instance that they were in like a plantation in the south and the one guy was like, I don't know about, you know, this house being haunted, but I'll tell you what, this furniture is old and it looks haunted by itself. Like, I mean, they're pretty funny. Like, cause I've thought stuff like that when I've gone to investigate, I'm like, I don't know if the house is haunted, but that piece of furniture looks like it's from like 1543. <laughs> so they really say stuff what you're thinking. Um, I've noticed since like their first episode up till like this point, they've evolved every week. So they've gotten a lot better. Um, I mean, I just think they're really funny. They're enjoyable to watch. If you guys haven't watched even one episode, I have this friend that is like really, really fearful of the paranormal, but she believes in it. That's why she's afraid of it. So I told her, I said, you know what? A good um, series to watch for you would be Ghost Brothers because it's it's funny and comical too. And she went and watched it and she's like, I love it. It was, it was great. You know, it's like, they're pretty funny. The only thing that I wish they had like better camera work um, sometimes like they'll have the camera like if this is like the handy cam and if you're like shoot if this is the lens and you're shooting out of the lens like all of a sudden the lens will go and it'll like face down at the ground and you're like wait a minute you're not paying attention so I wish their camera skills would get up a little bit they're not using the best night vision for the set I'm assuming it's because they weren't sure if the show was going to get signed on for another season hopefully it does because it's pretty funny um, but I mean, it's a really good show. I think it's, I think it's hilarious. And if you have a night that you're bored and you don't have, you know, you don't have anything that's good it's on TV that you want to watch, DVR it or, you know, try to re-record it for yourself because it's pretty freaking great. It's pretty funny. So I'm sorry I was gone. Um, I'm feeling better though. And you guys are really awesome that, that give me like positive comments and, and to those of you that check on me and stuff on all my, you know, even the YouTube comments, but like even other social media, I just had a funky week and everybody gets those, you know, I know I'm not the only one. And uh, I was really doing good at like sticking to a schedule, you know, with YouTube and then I kind of fell off the horse and it's going to happen guys. I'm human too and I'm sorry, but uh, I was really sad. I was really disappointed that this, um, this production company didn't work out the way I thought it was going to. And that's okay. That means there's a better opportunity, you know, in the future. And I have to stay true to myself is the biggest thing. And, and with that being said is that I can't tell you guys, you know, could critique these other shows. And sometimes I'm pretty hardcore about it. And then not, you know, critique myself if I'm in that situation. Like, if I'm in with a production company and I know something's not right, like if it's going too slow, it's not moving, um, I can't sit there and just cross my fingers and, and hope that it goes because I know the difference, you know? Um, and that's part of working in this industry for a while. So just have to keep trucking, guys. And so do you. So many of you guys are asking me about starting up a YouTube channel. Do it. Do it. And a lot of you guys are like, oh, I'm scared because I don't want to be criticized. I don't want thumbs down. I don't, you know, I don't want bad comments. Look, it's going to happen. Like, it's part of the YouTube community. But don't, like, wait another year or another month and be like, oh, I wish I would have done it or I should have done it. Just do it, you guys. 
there, I'm going to tell you right now, no one's ever going to like you 100% of the time. It's just not going to happen. But don't, don't not follow your dreams. Like if you like paranormal or even if it's some other, you know, part of YouTube, don't stop yourself from doing it. Just put yourself out there. Because honestly, I have met some really, really great friends and fans and followers and, you know, like some of the most supportive people I have are subscribers from YouTube. Um, I mean, like, I always give Robert a shout out. Robert, if you're out there, um, he's been following me from like back in the day, like back in the day. Like, I think he's been following me since Paranormal Challenge. Maybe I'm wrong, but he's been following me for a while. And, uh... He is, he's so cool. He plays guitar and like I follow him back on Twitter now because we, I met him from following me on, on YouTube and you know, like I'll talk to him about guitars and like his music and then he'll chat about paranormal with me. So you, it's like more than just putting, it's more than the negative. You know what I mean? Like you have to outweigh, like there's so much more positive than there is negative with YouTube. And you just can't be afraid to be yourself. You can't be afraid to put yourself out there. So just do it. Don't don't stop yourself. What should I chat about next? A lot of you guys are wanting to hear about like my empath and like my abilities. So that's an option. A lot of you guys are wanting me to chat about how I like cleanse a house or how I like keep things from following me home, which never happens. They'll I always get followed home, but I have a way I get things out. But if, like, tell me what you guys want to see. Like, what do we want to chat about? Let's get back to chatting. And there's a bunch of stuff like you guys have mentioned. So leave me a comment below. Um, give me a thumbs up on my video. Subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber. And follow me on Twitter and, like, Instagram, guys. Like, mainly, like, Twitter. I'm on Twitter constantly. So if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, stop being lame. I'll talk to you guys next time. Tell me what you want to see. Bye. Back from the dead, 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 dead.